The Bose PM1s are a fairly inexpensive pair of standalone CD compact device uh, player, but uh, the catch is that it mostly comes prepackaged with an expensive pair of no uh, Bose noise cancellation headphones, and for that, it's kind of like this temporary kind of offer that Bose is putting out there to promote their their, you know, what they make the most profit out of, which is their headphones. But, uh, these pairs are being sold separately, as well as you can find these online at Amazon and such, so this is our take on these pair of CD players. The first thing you'll notice is that, like all Bose products, the CD player is no exception when it comes to kind of an understated, kind of black tone, but when you actually pick it up and you start playing with it, you do have a fairly, fairly premium feel to the device. This is made out of plastic. On the top, we have a Bose logo. We have a soft touch circle that encompasses buttons like skip tracks, a volume rocker, as well as a play pause, a stop, a mode, and an anti-skip button that correspond to their features. You'll find that the buttons are kind of risen above the surface, and they are easy to press and dial. We also have a monochrome display on the front, which is clear, and it shows everything you need from a CD player for the soundtrack, to the fact that if the disc is splitting, if you want to stop it, and such. On the top, you can kind of see the hinge. We don't really like that. It might feel a little bit fragile, but we kind of designed um, that, you know, Bose is trying to go with a little bit of a unique twist to it, so, okay. On the right-hand side of the device, we will find a uh, AC adapter port for on the go, for on the inside of the home, or on, in the car, but not typically on the go. We also have had 3.5mm headphone jack for listening to music and stereo. And this is the eject open button, which is made out of plastic. On the back, you'll also find the hold switch. Now, the hold switch is interesting because um, the hold function is turned on when you turn that to on, and the hold switch is turned off, and now you can start playing music. So it's not actually an on-off that corresponds to the device, but rather an on-off for the hold feature, because the on-off button is also doubled as the play pause, which is why there's a little bump, and you press it once, and it turns on like such. On the back, we also have the slot for two AA batteries. So opening up the device, you'll find that the hinge is opened quite easily. We don't like the hinge, again, it's kind of feeble and weak, which is kind of strange, but uh, we definitely don't want this to crack open too much because there's no border actually between the CD player. It's actually a flat piece. There's no like concurved edge where this disc sits into. It's just basically lying on top of it. So although it looks cool, it's a little bit, um, we feel uh, it might affect the sturdiness of this product. So let's put in an audiobook for this example, and if we just put it in like such, and we close it in, and immediately you'll find that pressing the play button allows you to skip and start playing. So this device is fairly quiet when it comes to noise. There's not a lot of sound that comes out of the actual spinning, which is a good thing because you don't want that. Vibration-wise, it's kind of medium. Uh, there's low vibrations, but whenever you tilt it and you want to squeeze this a little bit, you do feel a little bit. Uh, but overall, for noise, um, there's not a lot, which is pretty good. So it's a great on-the-go kind of device. Uh, sound quality on this is excellent, although it's basically on par with a lot of devices we've seen. There's no Bose excellency that we're noticing here. It's certainly not worth apart from the next competitors so it's kind of you know we're, we're expecting very high quality of course from CD players because they're not mp3 players which are compressed audio quality but other than that the sound quality isn't much different in that terms so it's actually pretty good uh, we also the only critique of course is that the hinge feels a little bit weak um, but other than that I think you're ready to go the battery life in this is very solid you can play um, uh, over audiobooks, actually, and, you know, the, one of the benefits of AA batteries is to do long, run longer on one run than charging, like, say, an iPod Touch. So, if we have something like, um, Chasing the Dime, which is a great audiobook, we have, I don't know, we have six audio, five CDs, and we manage to play this and still have significant battery life that we have not run out yet. So, it proves to be very good an on-a-go device. So, overall, if you want something that's pretty cool, um, be careful, though, with the hinge or on-a-go CD player. This might fit the bill for you, but don't expect something that's ridiculously high quality just because it's branded with bows.